Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School. Now, if you're new to the channel, I just want to take a moment and explain a little bit about what we do here. Each week I put out a video on a different design, either PSD, tutorial, tip, whatever it may be, specifically for sports design. See, the thing is, I think the world needs more sports designers, and I'm here to help you guys learn. Today, our video is about this Trey Young design that I actually did. I'm gonna walk you through every single layer, every single detail that I did, and show you how to recreate this design from scratch. I'm also giving away the PSD completely free for you to download, so make sure you check out the description for that link. If that sounds like it's interesting to you, make sure you drop a like on this video, and of course, subscribe if you're not already. But let's dive in. So I'm just gonna start off by duplicating this image and then kind of starting with the basics so you can really get a feel of what I started with when I was making this design. So first of all, here's this design. But let's just start with the basics. So I found this image of Trey Young off of Google. Um, I just literally typed in Trey Young, yada yada yada, and I found this image. And so I just placed it into my document like this. I'm gonna go up to image, canvas size so you guys can see my dimensions for my design. So I set it to 1920 by 2400 pixels. But like I said, so I just dragged this Trey Young image into my design and set it up like this. Now I did a couple of things to this design. So I added a camera raw filter. So I'm gonna double click so you can see just what I did for my camera raw filter. Really all I did was I turned my clarity up to 34. And that's just to give it a nice kind of polished look to really bring out some of the details. Next what I did is to add a little bit more detail into my image, I added a adjustment high pass filter on top of it. Uh, this is something I talk about in my video, how to make your images pop. Uh, and if that's something you're interested in checking out, I'll put a card up in the top right right now so you're able to check out that video. But what I did is I essentially just duplicated this image. I said filter, other, high pass. I set it to about 7.2, I hit OK, and then I changed my blending mode to overlay. Now I changed my fill down to about 50, just to really bring out some more detail. So you can see a before, or this is an after, and a before in our design. So you can just see throughout his hair, it just kind of brings more lighting and more texture to our image. So here I am, you can see I have my base image, I have my camera raw filter applied, and I have my high pass filter on top of that. I also went through and added some noise to my background image. You can just do that by hitting filter, noise, and then hit add noise. Now for this, I just did five. I wanted just kind of like a subtle noise to my image, nothing that's too crazy or too grainy. So here we are with our just background image, which is pretty simple to do. Next what I did is I took my rectangle tool, which you can find right here, and I just created a new solid white rectangle over the right side of my image. I knew I kind of wanted to do a split design, so just creating a rectangle like this is a pretty good way of doing that. And I wanted to feature the city of Atlanta because Trey Young is a star for the Atlanta Hawks. So I went to pexels.com, which is a great place where you can find free, royalty-free images that you can use in your designs and post wherever you want to without having to worry about copyright or anything like that. And I just searched Atlanta and I found this great image right here. I'll release it from its clipping mask real quick so you can see. So this is the image. And as you can see, it's a pretty cool high resolution image. That's another thing that's great about Pexels is all of the images are super high quality. I'm talking like super HD to where you're able to use them in high resolution designs and not have like a weird pixelated look to your design. So I just created a clipping mask onto my white rectangle with that image. And you can do that by hitting, holding in between these two layers and just holding Alt and then clicking. And that'll create a clipping mask. I'll show you for a second. So you can go like this, hold Alt and click. It's really that simple. So there I have my Trey Young design on my left, 
my Atlanta image on the right. As you can see, it already is kind of black and white, the image itself is, but I added a curves adjustment tool on top. Now, if you wanna add a curves adjustment tool to whatever image you're doing, you just go up to your adjustments and hit curves. And I just brought kind of these mid-tones down a little bit. So as you can see, when we have it off, the image is a little bit brighter, but I knew I wanted this part of my image to be a little bit darker. So I just brought the mid-tones down so you can see like the buildings and the highlights in here even a little bit are a little bit darker, giving it a nice look to our image. And again, I just added some noise to this layer by hitting filter, add noise. I just had it at five again, nothing too over the top. Now from here, I was feeling really good about my design, but I wanted to include more detail and more elements. So I did a couple of things. For starters, I added the Atlanta Hawks logo. I think their logo is really cool and just a nice, cool, like round element that you can feature in your design. And so I just went to sportslogos.net, which is a great place to find high quality uh, sports logos. And I just dragged this into Photoshop, literally just click and drag and dragged it into Photoshop. So here I have my Atlanta Hawks layer just like that. Now the other thing I did, let me turn off these things, is I just created a rectangle on the right side of my image. So I literally just took a rectangle and I clicked and dragged and made it on the right side of my image just like that. So as you can see, like so far, this is pretty simple to do. This isn't any high level design doing like weird magic tricks where it's like, oh, I have no idea how to use Photoshop. These are pretty simple basic steps just following some cool design layout things. But so I have my rectangle right here. And what I did from here is I added a holographic overlay to this image. Um, I actually got this for free off of Creative Market. They do this thing where every single week you can go on and they have like free things that they give away. And one week they gave away a free holographic pack. Since I got it for free, I feel pretty confident that I'm able to give it away for free. So I'll put a link down to the entire pack of holographic uh, items in the description if you wanna download those for yourself. But I added this just as a clipping mask to that rectangle to give it some more color. Now it's pretty colorful and I wanted it to resemble the Atlanta Hawks colors of red and yellow, so I added a gradient map on top. You can do that by just going up to your adjustments tool and hitting gradient map. But I added this gradient map as a clipping mask and I'll show you what settings I did. So you can see my gradient I have here goes from red to this shade of yellow right here. Now, if you have your gradient tool popped up just like this, all you have to do is click and then choose what gradient, uh, what colors are gonna be featured in your gradient. So let's just say if you wanted it to be blue, you have a blue to yellow gradient, but I'm not gonna do that for right now. So there we have it. I have the right side of my image with my red to yellow gradient on this right side. I think that turned out really cool. Next, I wanted to add in his name so I just typed in Trey Young. And I thought this looked okay, but I wanted to make sure it was visible on my background, so I added a red rectangle as my background. Literally just taking a red rectangle, clicking and dragging. For the font, I used a font called Vanguard CF. I can't recommend this font enough. It's really just an awesome looking font. Um, Ohio State uses it all the time, but I'm trying to think of, one of my subscribers actually sent me this font. I'm trying to think of his name right now to give him a shout out. If I can't think of it, I'll put the link down in the description to give him a shout out for that. But thank you so much for that. So like I said, I have my Trey Young text right here using the font Vanguard. That's as simple as just hitting T on your keyboard and then clicking and typing whatever you want to. Then I had this other image of Trey that I found, and it really is just a photo shoot image that I found. Um, and it originally was just this square right here, so I just clicked it and dragged it into Photoshop. Again, I think I just Googled Trey Young uh, photo shoot or something, and this was one of the images that came up. And what I did, is, and what I've been seeing a lot of lately, is just taking a normal straight rectangle and then tilting it just a little bit. 
So if you look right here, I'm going to drag down my ruler so you can see. It's not straight across. The original was actually, if you were just to put a straight square into your image, it would be more like that. But I've been seeing a lot of people lately just do a slight tilt to give it like a kind of hand placed look. So I thought that was really cool. So that's what I ended up doing for this image. Again, I added some noise just by hitting filter, noise, add noise. And then what I did is I wanted to add a little bit of some like pop between my image and the background. I wanted to separate it a little bit. So I added a white rectangle. And that was as simple as just creating a white rectangle using my rectangle tool. And again with my right rectangle, I did the same thing. You can see it's not straight. I literally just took it, Command T to transform, and rotated it just a little bit to get this result. And so now I have a little bit of an offset with my white rectangle and my Trey Young image, which I thought was really cool. And I added a curves adjustment layer to kind of just bring down some of the brighter parts of my image, really just dragging my shadows to the left a little bit. So you can see all the shadows in his face right here just get a little bit darker. I just thought it was a cool uh, little touch. Now next I added a paragraph of text. So let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. So to, and if you're not familiar with this, in Photoshop it's pretty easy to do just a little block text like this. You just hit T and then click and drag and that's a text box. And you can type as much as you want to just like that. But I really just created a text box about that size and then I went over to Wikipedia and I just copied like the description for Trey Young um, from straight from the Wikipedia. And for the font, I used Courier Regular, which I'm pretty sure is just a standard system font. So you should probably already have it on your laptop. And then following the pattern of tilting rectangles, I added a white rectangle. And you can see just tilted it to the right ever so slightly. Again, I think it gives it like a cool kind of cut out look. Now again, we haven't done anything super complicated so far in this design. In fact, all of these steps have been super simple to do and definitely something that you can do at home. Um, but then I added this little ice tray text right here. Now this font that I used is actually a free font. It's a font I talked about in one of my more recent videos, the top 10 best free fonts to use for sports design. Uh, it's a font called Amador. Now Amador is a great old English style font and I think when placed in a good spot it just gives it a nice cool look. It contributes to the kind of cut out vintage look that I'm going for in this design. And It was as simple as just bringing up my text tool and typing ice tray. We're getting down kind of close to the end of our design here. I just have a few more elements. So I added the Adidas logo. I literally just typed in Adidas logo transparent. I think it was originally black. And I just took it and added a color overlay. And then just made it pretty small and put it in the top right part of my image. I also added in a Trey Young signature. Which to do that, I literally just typed in Trey Young autograph on Google and I brought in an image of his autograph. I then took an eraser and just deleted all the parts I didn't want. So this was the original. You can see I just pulled it off of something that he wrote. I didn't even do that great of a job of erasing the outline, but I kind of liked the different like print marks on the outside. And I just added a color overlay just like that. I then added a little circle that says three stripe life, three stripe life, three stripe life. And that's actually really easy to do. If you want to create a look like that, all you're going to do, I'm going to just create a new layer for now, is click and drag and create a circle about the size that you want. I'm going to position it right there. You then bring up your text tool by hitting T on your keyboard and going to the edge of whatever shape that you have selected. You can then click 
and write whatever you want to. I can then turn off the layer underneath it, and there you have it, circular text right in Photoshop. Which is a good time to remind you that if you're not subscribed to our channel already, and you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe. We do videos just like this literally all the time, at least once a week. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, drop a like. It really helps us uh, reach new people and get more people involved with sports design. But anyways, I'm going to delete that for now. And just like that, I created my three stripe life circle text. Now you can see this design is basically all that I've done. And from here on is just a few textures that I added. So I added this film grain texture, which I seriously mention at least once in every video. There's a pack of like 30 free film grain textures that you can download completely free. Uh, and I'll put the link to that in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. I use it all the time for my designs. If you like subscribe to the channel and you watch all of our videos, you know I mention it all the time. And then I added another one of those textures. And then from here, oh, and let me mention, so for this one I set my blending mode to screen, and then this one I set my blending mode to lighten. There's not really any like high level design thinking behind that. I could have probably just done screen. Um, I literally just go through and look at all the different versions and then figure out which one I like the best, which in that scenario just happened to be lighten. I add like a levels adjustment on top of all of these uh, to get rid of some of these like mid-tones. So you can see there's some dust in here. I really just wanted some white flex. So you can go in and if you drag it to the left a little bit, you get rid of some of these mid-tones. If you have any questions about that, just reach out in either the comments or send me a message on Instagram. And I'll be happy to explain why I use levels like that. And then lastly, I added this wet paper texture. I think I literally just Googled wet paper texture um, and this image came up. Let me show you what it looks like normally. So it's just kind of like, a, or it might have been a plastic wrap texture or something like that. Uh, but Google either of those and this image should come up. And I just dragged it into Photoshop just like this. And then I set my blending mode to screen just like that. And then again, I just added the levels because you can see when you don't add the levels, it gives it, it, it kind of like just takes away from parts of your image and makes it a little bit lighter than you want it to be. And so I added a levels adjustment to get rid of like these parts through here. And that's it guys, that's all I did for this Trey Young design. If you enjoyed this video and made it to the end, show your support by dropping a like. And again, we have lots of awesome videos coming out very soon, so make sure you don't miss out on those. Hit subscribe and even hit the bell. I've actually looked and seen a decent percent of you guys hit the bell, which is awesome to see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got lots of big stuff planned for 2021, so stay tuned. But thank you for watching and have a good one.